Good afternoon and welcome to Adventure Planet, where today I'm here at Newbury Racecourse for their very first Newbury Christmas Carnival. Now, this has actually been marketed as the biggest Christmas carnival in the south of the country and runs from today, the 27th of November, right the way through until the 3rd of January. And it features an assortment of rides and attractions, including an ice rink and a circus here as well. Now, admission into the carnival is £5, and with that, that gets you your free pass parking, a nice cup of hot chocolate on arrival, and the Flying Santa Show, which actually takes place every hour across the top of the carnival here. Now, everything else inside is actually an upcharge. That includes the circus, the Christmas tree maze that they've got here, the ice rink, and all of that can be booked online at a link that I will put in the description on this video. Now, it can all be done online. It can also be done here at the box office. However, if you do it online and you reserve at least £25 worth of attractions, you will get 20% off of your uh, checkout price, which is very handy. The rides themselves here, you pay for actually on the rides themselves. And speaking of rides, we've got a few here to choose from. We've got a spinning coaster here. Freak Out is here. We've got uh, the Ice Jet Matterhorn ride is also here amongst others and you can expect to pay around five to nine pounds each for the rides here so while it is pretty expensive it's certainly not as expensive as something like winter wonderland at hyde park maybe now parking here isn't too far away however if you do upgrade your parking which is 10 pounds you can park actually at car park one which is right here behind me it's literally right on top of the carnival's doorstep here Event hours today, starting at 10 o'clock right the way through until 9pm today. However, the close times do vary, so do check the website. Depending on what day you come, it can actually run right the way through until 10pm. Like I say, this is a brand new event here for Newbury. Looking forward to checking this one out. Always good to see the debuts of these kind of carnivals, just to see how they improve year on year. So looking forward to getting in here, seeing the shows. I'm going to the circus today. I'll put a little bit of uh, highlight footage uh, in this very vlog for that and uh, yeah excited to see this one let's head on in and see what it's like here at Newbury Racecourse and here we are then just on the other side of the Christmas Carnival entrance archway here right in front of us is the big wheel and I've just been given my token for my free hot chocolate right on the other side of the entrance archway then there's your box office where you get all your tickets if you don't obviously reserve them all online You've got a little bit of a carnival park map there and then, of course, spinning coaster and the booster there just off to your left. And then most of the rides here are down on the right side. And then in the middle, you've got all the kind of your market stalls. And right at the top end is the ice rink, just as you can see on the park map that I've put on the left side of the screen here. So, yeah, let's take a little look around. You've got some Christmas cabins here as well. Where you can sit down and have some lunch. There's a licensed bar in there. Yeah, nice bit of theming across the top as well. That's your Apre Alpine Bar. Yeah, this is looking really good. Got your Christmas trees set across here just in front of the booster. Looks like a KMG booster, Vertigo. And you've got the good old spinning coaster there as well, which we're getting on. Good news is that we can actually film on ride here today. Yeah. Hey, you've got your toilets on the left side. And you've got a couple of Santa's grottos here as well. There's some more of your kind of stalls around here as well. You've got a couple of kids' rides. Little spinning rides there for the kids. Your teacups. And kind of a little carousel just over the back there. Then you've got all your festive bars. You've got donuts and coffee in the middle. And then, of course, Vertigo here. Good old booster. We'll get some good views on that a little bit later on. I haven't been on a good booster since Energylandia at Poland, so look forward to giving this one a go. And here we go on the booster then. Vertigo here at Newbury Racecourse. Should get some good views at the top of here. £8.50 to ride the booster. And there's the spinning coaster. And some great views of the race course. Yeah, fantastic. And Newbury is a beautiful market town. So if you don't want to spend the entire day at the carnival, you can of course head in to the center of the town itself. 
to have a little bit of an explore. Really nice town, Newbury. Yeah, and this is a great location for the carnival. Right over the race course. Whee! <laughs> a little bit of a squeaky boost for this one. <laughs> just a little bit of on-ride footage there then of Vertigo, the booster here at the Christmas Carnival at Newbury. Yeah, you just got the, uh, the Santa's Grotto here and the Christmas tree maze entrance is just through there as well. If you take a left when you come in through the main entrance, Santa's Grotto is right here or just to the left of the spinning coaster, which I think is going to be the next ride I jump on. Looks to be a pretty standard layout done this one plenty of times but always nice to try these rides somewhere new like I say great views across the race course here no queue currently so I'm gonna jump on this one and we'll put in some on-ride footage and here we go on the spinning coaster then hey Up the noisy lift hill. <laughs> oh wow. That's how we get a good spin on this one. Unfortunately, it's only me in the uh, in the car here, so I'm not expecting anything too great. Hey. Oh. Hey, you can see the big top circus just to the right there. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, here we go. Hey. Oh. <laughs> there you go again. Whoa. Oh. oh, wow. Let's see what spin we get. Hey, hey that's not too bad. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's not a bad spin. Back the other way. Hey! Oh, we didn't hit that one right. <laughs> hey, that's a better one. Oh my god. <laughs> Considering it's only me in the car, that's not a bad spin at all. Hey! Seven pound to ride the spinning coaster. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, there we are. Do love a good spinning coaster. Fantastic. And just towards the back end of the carnival now is the Big Top Circus. Tickets can be reserved online or here at the box office and there are three shows throughout the day. And prices range from £12 right the way up to £22 depending on where you want to sit. Ringside seats are £22 and then obviously the further back you go the, uh, the cheaper the tickets become. Got Ice Jet just over the back there, the Matterhorn ride. Fantastic Matterhorn Ice Jet. Speeds of up to 80 miles an hour. There's some more seating areas around the middle here. And of course, we've got the, uh, the ice rink here. And just up the top is where you'll see the Flying Santa Show. He's just getting ready to go up there. And he basically flies right along this cable here across to the other side. And that's uh, on the hour every hour. So uh, he'll be getting ready to go across real soon. And then yeah, you got the ice skating ring just to the left here. Got the 
Big Top Circus Funhouse. Yeah, nice little seating areas here as well. Some LED lighting. Some Christmas theming there, really nice. You got a little bumper cars here as well for the kiddies. You've also got a very small waltzer just at the back of the park there. It's a little trampolining and you've got the Yeti as well. And then the Dodgems just a little bit further back there as well. Ice skating rink looking pretty busy though. Not something I'm going to be doing myself today. We can take a little look. Not a bad size ice rink, to be honest. So you get your, uh, your skates and stuff in there, and you exit through there as well. And then if you're not too good at ice skating, you get given these little, uh, little polar bear things to hold on to. <laughs> to keep yourself upright. That yeah, looks really good. And I think Santa's uh, getting ready to uh, make his journey across. Flying right above the ice rink. That's really cool. Oh, and here he comes. Santa himself. <laughs> the flying Santa right above the ice rink. And right across the middle of the carnival. There he is. Hey! <laughs> I'm not quite sure how his sleigh is getting pulled. There's no reindeer on the front. Maybe they're invisible this year. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> right across to the other side of the carnival and like I say that happens on the hour every hour fantastic and here we've got the Yeti just here as well little bouncing frog ride and the Dodgems just across at the back here as well so we've got some more stalls just here as well just behind this little stall, we've got a mini Miami. Now, they were actually supposed to have a full-size Miami here uh, for this carnival, but I've not actually seen it here. I don't believe it's actually one of the rides that's turned up, which is a little bit of a shame. Miami's not my favorite ride, but it's always nice to see them here. And then we've got the Big Top Circus just at the side here. Five pounds for entry into the fun house. Facade looks pretty good. Got some fake snow here as well coming out. Doesn't look like there's a big slide on the side from this one though, but yeah, five pound for that one. And we got the sugar hut just here as well. And if you want some hot festive drinks, they can be bought here as well. Got some more uh, ski games on the side here as well. And you've also got some marshmallow toasting here as well, toast drone marshmallows. Always do like a good toasted marshmallow. You've got your burger van here as well. And your classic sizzler just opposite that. And right next to the big wheel here, we've got the freak out. Looking forward to getting back on that a little bit later on. Don't have a token for the big wheel. I figured I would get my views today from the booster. However, I suspect you'll also get some pretty good views from the top of that big wheel. It's actually not quite as high as the booster. Yeah, like I say, you got the freak out there, people just boarding. I'll leave that one till a little bit later on. You got your churros factory here. Hey, coffee and candy. All the Christmas audio. And yeah, the big wheel. There's some stats on the wheel there. If you can, uh, if you can understand the language. <laughs> and 
And if you fancy some traditional food, a little bit away from the Christmas uh, things that they have here, away from the Christmas options, you do have some fresh fish and chips here. Cotton chips at £11, scampion chips at £10.50, fish cake and chips £8.50. You've also got a selection of chicken and sausage, cheesy chips there as well. And some refreshments down there as well. And just to, uh, just to the right of the fish and chips, you can get yourself some pizza slices and fries. Sounds all really nice. Slice of margarita pizza there, £7.50. With pepperoni, chicken, walnut and stilton. That's an interesting one. For £8. Cheesy garlic bread for £4. All sounds very nice. And again, you've got the uh, Apre Alpine Bar at the back there. With all your licensed alcohol. And just behind that is a good game of curling there. If you fancy a game of curling. <laughs> no idea how to play it, but the rules are listed just at the back there. And uh, yeah, there you go. Full on curling lanes. Fantastic. And there's another festive bar just in the middle of the carnival here. Some of the prices that you can see on the board there. And just behind the festive bar, we've got five girls, which sounds quite good. <laughs> you've got your moonshine stand, you've got your traditional fudge store here, and a cheeky Greek authentic Greek wraps. Oh, and here we are again with Ice Jet, the Matterhorn here at Newbury. Fantastic ride this, really well themed. Love the polar bear in the middle. £6.50 to ride this one, and I'm going to jump on. And here we are on Ice Jet. Absolutely love this Matterhorn ride. It really is fantastic. Top speeds of 80 miles an hour. Not a good one if you don't like spinning rides. But they're wonderfully themed. And yeah, we even get a countdown. And here we go with Ice Jet. Smoke effect. I wonder if we'll get any snow on this one. Hey. Oh, hey. Yes, love a good ice jet Matterhorn. Hopefully we get a good cycle on this one. Like I say, £6.50 for admission. I really do love the theming for these rides. They're so fantastic. Picking up speed now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Oh the speed. <laughs> hey. Oh wow. Yes! <laughs> oh my life! It's a quick one! Hey! <laughs> Whoop. Oh yes! Maximum force! Hey! <laughs> Oh wow, well, slowing down. I'm seeing double. Love the lighting on the back of the cars. That's great. <laughs> hey. Speed enough again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey. Oh wow! We got some strokes! Oh. The operator's gonna kill us! <laughs> oh what a great ride! Now the question is, are we going to go back the other way? Or is that the end of the cycle? Oh, 
we've got a backward cycle as well. Are we going to get any snow effects? Who knows? Uh, here we go. It's ice jet. And here we go. Oh. Oh. oh, the backward ones are always the better ones. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh wow! Yes! Oh this is great! What a great ride! <laughs> oh wow! There's nothing quite like an ice jet Matterhorn. Truly fantastic. And there we are. The end of the cycle. You got a bit of fake snow coming out of the fun house here. And yeah. And look at this, this is fantastic. The sugar hut here. Look at all the sweets. Selection of pick and mix sweets here, lollipops, dummies, and all the Christmas theming here as well. You've got candy canes. All looks really, really good. Candy floss here as well. Oh really nice. Fantastic. That's where you get your sugar high here at Newbury. So I've got about an hour left until my circus show in, so I figured I'll uh, use up the time by jumping onto Freak Out. Manufactured by KMG, let's jump on. And here we are on KMG's Freak Out, here at the Newbury Christmas Carnival. Yeah, it's been a little while since I've been on a good Freak Out. Always good rides these. Yeah, it's been a really good day so far. It's actually a really nice carnival. Some great photo opportunities around. The stalls look really fantastic. Arguably the food and drink can be a little overpriced. But if you're used to theme park prices, then you pretty much know what to expect. <laughs> oh, good views of the race course. Hey, six pound fifty for a ride on Freak Out, and I'm, in the, I'm the only one on. No one else wanted to come on with me. They can be quite intense rides, these. So you can understand. If you're not a big fan of the intense rides, it's probably not the best idea. Hey. Yeah, looking forward to the circus a little bit later on. Features the wheel of death. Nice and forceful, this. <laughs> Ice ring still looking pretty busy there. Whey! 
Hey, I got a good spin on that. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, that is intense. That is intense. Oh, hey. Oh wow. Whoa. That's got some, oh wow, that's got some real force to it. Is that the end of the cycle? I think it could be. Oh yeah, there we are. That was nice and intense that. The KMG freak out here at Newbury. And yeah, so far it's been a great day here at the Great Christmas Carnival here at Newbury Racecourse. I've just got my hot chocolate here and it's almost time for me to head into the circus now. 3.45 is going to be my show. It's about a 45 minute show. I will be putting in some highlights from that show right after this. And then I'll take some more footage of the uh, carnival as the sun starts to go down or kind of the sun. It's a little bit cloudy today, but as it starts to get dark, we'll put in some night shots around the park and then I'll wrap up this vlog. It's been a great day. And here we are then, just at the start of the circus show. Ringmaster's out, cracking some jokes with the crowd. Nice and warm in here as well. Show's about to start in five minutes time. 45 minute show, looking forward to this one. Should be a good one. Highlights coming up.
And some highlights there then of the circus here at the Great Christmas Carnival here in Newbury. And yeah, what can I say? Really, really solid show that. 45 minutes, good entertainment at the start from the ringmaster. We had some balance beam acts there, some contortionists, as well as that awesome ball of death right at the end with up to three cyclists in there at one time. Really, really impressive that is. Always love to see that. 22 pounds for the ringside seats probably about right uh, I wouldn't have paid any more than that but yeah I would say that's probably about fair and yeah great show nice and warm inside the big top and uh, yeah it, it was a it was a it was a lot of fun great laughs to be had inside there it's now night time here at the carnival so I'm just going to put a few more shots around the park show off some of the lighting packages here and then I'll be back with my final thoughts on the day And the nice guy at the start of the Christmas tree maze here at Newbury is let me just uh, let me have a little bit of a walk through here. I gotta say, it looks fantastic. This would usually be five pounds to come in and walk through here. Basically just a maze full of Christmas trees here. You gotta try and work your way, <laughs> work your way back out again. Looks fantastic though, look at this. Really well done. Looks like the trees stretch for miles. Oh, I think I've taken a wrong turn. <laughs> well, oh, here we go. It stayed dry today as well, which has been nice. Oh, wow. Let's go down this way. Wow, it feels like this maze goes on forever. Oh, go ahead and turn around here. <laughs> It's been a really good day here at Newbury today. I've been really impressed actually, considering this is their first time that they've ever done this event. It's actually been pretty well organized. There's a couple of things that could have done better at the, uh, the circus as people were going in. It seemed to be some confusion around where uh, baby buggies and prams and stuff would actually go. And some people were getting a little frustrated. But you have to understand that obviously this is the first time that they've done it. So you, know, you have to give them the benefit of the doubt here. And uh, it's something that they can improve upon in the years to come, which I hope does happen. I know there's been a little bit of pushback from the residents here uh, in Newbury about this event due to uh, concerns over congestion and things like that. Um, I don't think they will have a problem, though. I think this event should be, uh, should be pretty, pretty fine for congestion, traffic congestion and stuff. It wasn't too bad um, when I was driving here uh, earlier today. And I've just come to a complete dead end. <laughs> oh wow, no wonder they were turning back. Some fantastic photo opportunities in here though. Look at this, it looks fantastic. Really, really nice. So yeah, I hope this is something that Newbury do continue to do 
in the coming years. It's a fantastic location for it, really, really good. Great parking, and like I say, the trains, Newbury Racecourse got its own dedicated train station, so really easy to get to. And it's been a fantastic event overall. And a couple of shots just around the park there then, just showing the lighting packages now that it is dark here. And that is going to wrap up today's vlog here from the Great Christmas Carnival at Newbury. And you know what? I've actually had a really enjoyable day today. Five pound entrance fee, you get your free hot chocolate, the Flying Santa show and free parking. And it's really, really been a solid event considering this is the first time they've ever done anything like this here. I think this this looks good for the few for you know for the future Christmases and like I said in the Christmas tree maze I do hope that this does continue over the next few years obviously like I say they have had some pushback from residents here regarding concerns for traffic congestion um, and things like that on my way here actually pretty free free flowing traffic and of course like I say Newbury Racecourse has its own dedicated train station so if you do want to come here on the train that is also an option so I really do hope that the residents do let this carry on it'd be really good to see the improvements coming as the years go on in terms of improvements a couple of things uh, organization um, for the circus needs to be a little better there was a couple of families earlier today that weren't quite sure what to do with their push chairs and prams and buggies and things uh, and the staff didn't seem too sure either and they ended up just being left kind of at the entrance so that's something to be aware of the booster here isn't worth £8.50 in my opinion, it's quite slow, it's a very short cycle and it only goes the one way for £8.50, yeah it's not one of the best boosters at all. Also in terms of premium parking, I actually paid £10 to upgrade my parking uh, for this event which basically means that you can park at Car Park 1 which is essentially as I said at the start of the vlog right on the doorstep of this event. However, no one has actually checked my ticket for that premium parking. I drove into Car Park 1, parked up and came straight into the event. So that's a little bit strange so far, unless they check it on the way out, which I don't believe they will do. Um, no one has checked for that upgrade to premium parking, so that's pretty interesting. Also, food, a little bit, a little bit pricey here um, for the food, not uh, kind of theme park pricing, I guess but I thought it would have been just a little bit cheaper. Some of the stalls here are charging like 11, 12 pounds just for a burger, which I thought was a little bit pricey. Otherwise, it's been a solid day and I'm really looking forward to seeing the improvements that the Newbury Christmas Carnival makes in the future, in the future Christmases to come, as long as it does stay here, which I really do hope that it does. It's been a really, really good day. Wonderful theming, great audio throughout the park. And it's been pretty quiet, it's the first day, but otherwise operations have been good as well. Now in terms of the next vlog coming up right here on the channel, next weekend I will be back at Chessington World of Adventures for their Winter's Tale event. We'll be checking out the theming, uh, the shows and the audio around that park and also the general atmosphere and operations and also taking another look at the world of Jumanji because construction is coming along on that new coaster. We've got the inversion in place right now some theming going in some planting going in as well so it'd be really really good to get a look at that again but from here the Newbury Christmas Carnival at Newbury Racecourse I want to thank you so much for watching and as always happy riding everybody I'll see you in Chessington